Hello, beautiful humans, and welcome to this heart activating meditation on this very special Tuesday, 2 22. I am going to do this meditation with the camera off so that we do not have any visual distractions and you can just focus on the sound of my voice and your own internal experience. So we have one minute until the clock turns to 22 here in the Eastern time zone. So go ahead and find your comfortable meditation seat. I recommend sitting up nice and tall with your spine long so that the energy can move freely through your spine. Um, but if you would like to lay down or be in any other position, uh, listen to your body and make this your own. Maybe you close your eyes if that feels safe and comfortable for you. And we're just gonna start by observing, by turning our awareness inwards and just noticing what is present for you right here, right now in this moment. So we'll start with our physical body. What sensations do you notice? Maybe you start at your head and scan all the way down to your feet. See if you can notice and experience these physical sensations without having that narrator in the background that's maybe judging the sensations as good or bad, right or wrong, painful or pleasurable. But see if you can just experience it fully without all the mental chatter. And if the monkey mind does start to chatter, let that be okay. Just simply keep bringing your awareness back to this present moment and your physical body. So each time the mind wanders away, we bring our attention back to the present. Continuing to feel and observe the physical sensations in your body. Now I invite you to take note of your emotional state. How are you feeling in this moment? Tuning in to the emotion and feeling where you feel it in your physical body. Noticing if it's a feeling that you like and enjoy or if it's a feeling that you resist. Maybe you have more than one feeling at the same time. Whatever it is, we're just allowing and opening our hearts for whatever feelings and emotions are present. Maybe you have a label, a word to label those feelings. And I really invite you to let this be an opportunity to soften, to sink just a little bit further down into your heart, and just to allow and accept whatever is present here right now. Now I invite you to bring awareness to your thoughts. What's the quality and tone of your thoughts today? See if you can detach from the thoughts of the mind and just allow them to float by like clouds in the sky, not attaching to the thoughts, not overthinking or identifying with the mind, but just letting it be. And maybe with each breath, you find a little bit more quiet, a little bit more stillness. And when the mind does wander away, you will gently bring it back to the present moment. I think my meditation is getting interrupted. Um, so continue to meditate and notice your experience. I will be back in one moment. So we have to be open 
and present to all interruptions. So continue to just observe and I will be right back. And if you haven't already, just notice your breath. Notice the quality of your breath that you came here today with. Is your breath smooth or choppy? Is it shallow or deep? Just noticing, just observing without changing the breath just yet. From here, we're gonna begin a practice, a breathing practice called heart coherence breath. This breath has been scientifically proven to get our heart and our brain into a coherent state. And it's really actually a simple breathing practice. We're just gonna hold, or we're gonna make our inhale for six counts and our exhale for six counts. And so that equates to just five breaths a minute compared to our average breath rate of 12 to 16 breaths a minute. So it's just really slow, deep, intentional breathing. I like to breathe the six count in through my nose and then six counts out through the mouth but you can make it your own, just keeping that six count. So we'll start with an inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. See if you can keep that breath going on your own. Maybe you feel into the rhythm of it, or maybe you continue the count. Sometimes I find that giving my mind something to focus on with the count helps keep my mind from wandering away. So we'll continue to breathe slow, deep breaths. And we'll bring our hands to our heart, maybe even skin to skin. And as we breathe, I invite you to start to feel for your heartbeat, bringing your awareness to your heart center, feeling the rhythm of your heart beating in your chest. And just tune in, you may feel the rhythm of your heart in other parts of your body as well. So I invite you just to observe, just to feel, 
experience. And I invite you to take a deep breath in. Pause and hold that breath at the top. And as you're holding the breath, feel for your heartbeat. We hold the breath, we can feel the heart even stronger in the chest. Take a big exhale through the mouth, let it go. And you can let that breath go or continue to breathe slow and deep. The longer that we do the heart coherence breath, the more we get our nervous system in balance, the more calm and centered in our heart we feel. So keeping the awareness on the heart, we're gonna dive deep down in, anchoring into loving awareness. So maybe you keep your hands over your heart, maybe you bring your hands together in front of the heart and press the thumbs into the chest. we can just silently say to ourselves, I am loving awareness. I am loving awareness. How does your experience, how does your perspective shift when you view through the lens of loving awareness? Notice what it feels like in your body to take on this attitude of a witness, of a loving awareness. How does love feel from the inside? And as you sit here, I invite you to cultivate feelings of joy. Joy is our natural state. It is our birthright. I invite you to just tune into that feeling. Perhaps you recall a joyful memory just notice how that memory affects your physical state in your body. What does joy feel like in your body? Maybe it feels light or warm. Maybe you feel your heart space radiating. Maybe you feel a smile come across your face. Just notice what joy feels like for you. And just soak up that joy. If you don't have a smile to your face, maybe bring one to your face. Just feeling the energy of that smile. Next, we're gonna initiate feelings of gratitude. So I want you to bring to mind and heart what you're grateful for today. Just allow that gratitude to fill up your entire being. There's so much to be grateful and appreciative of. Noticing how the heart and body feels when we invite gratitude in. And as we're feeling this joy and this gratitude and this love, from the heart space. I'm going to invite you to do a little visualization. So I invite you to imagine that you are out in nature somewhere, beautiful scenery around you, and that you're taking a walk on this beautiful path. This path was paved just for you. It is your journey and yours alone. Notice this place as if you were actually there really feeling it with all five senses. What do you see? What sounds do you hear in this beautiful nature? What do you feel? Do you feel the feet? Or do you feel the ground under your feet? Do you feel Mother Earth? Do you feel the breeze on your skin? What sensations are present for you as you imagine yourself in this space? Noticing the smells around you, the smells of our beautiful Mother Earth, and tuning in to your sense of taste. Just feeling this experience with all five senses. 
And I want you to imagine that you are walking the path to your heart as if it were a physical space that you could land in. We come to the end of this path and we see the heart and we see the gateway. And we find that it is blocked by two guard dogs. And these guard dogs, they are our past hurts, our wounds, those soft spots in our heart. And in order to get into our heart, we have to face these dogs. So I give you a moment here to, to sit with these dogs. Notice how they're responding to you, how you're responding to them. And find your way into the heart. Allowing yourself to enter into this sacred and loving space. As you get here, notice all the sights around you, the sounds. What is it like here? How do you feel? Take some time to walk around and just notice what you notice in this space. Just really being present with the visualization, allowing whatever comes up to come up. You don't have to overthink it. You don't want to go there with the mind, but just let the heart guide you here. And I want you to find a place where you can sit down comfortably in a meditation seat in this beautiful heart space. And as you sit down, we're going to initiate feelings of love and compassion. And one of my favorite ways to do this is to bring to mind and heart somebody that I love very much. So don't overthink it. Whoever comes up in your heart first, just allow that person to be present with you in your heart space. Invite them to sit down in front of you. Maybe you grab onto their hands, holding their hands in yours, looking them in the eye, feeling all that love that you have for this person, all that appreciation, care, the gratitude for their being looking them in the eye and letting them know how you feel and just wishing them well, saying to them, may you be happy, may you be well, may you be at peace, may your heart be filled with love and compassion. Notice how it felt to give love and compassion to your loved one and notice how they received your love. sitting with your loved one for another moment. And then we will tell this person goodbye, allow them to go. Now we're going to invite someone else into the room. This time inviting somebody you're neutral towards, somebody that you don't really have any feelings about either way. Maybe somebody you've seen in a grocery store, post office. And we'll see if we can invite that person to come sit down in front of us. Maybe we are even comfortable enough to take their hands, to look them in the eye. See if you can offer that same love and compassion to this stranger or this person you don't know so well. Looking them in the eyes and saying to them, may you be happy, may you be well, may your heart be filled with love and compassion. Notice how it felt to give this person love. Notice how they received it. And as you're ready, you can allow this person to go. And we're going to invite someone else into the room with us. This time it might be a little more difficult. So we're going to invite somebody who is difficult for us, someone who triggers us, someone that we don't like or resonate with. Maybe it's someone who's hurt us or 
someone who just drives us crazy. Whoever it is, see if you can open your heart, see their humanness, have compassion for them. Allow that person to sit down in front of you. See if you can open your heart enough to reach out for their hands and see if they take your hands in return. And you can look this person in the eyes and say to them, may you be happy, may you be well, may you be at peace. May your heart be filled with love and compassion. Notice how it felt to give this person love. And notice how that person received it from you. And if you found this experience difficult to do, you weren't able to do it, or you, your heart felt some resistance, or maybe your mind felt the resistance, and it wouldn't allow you to go into your heart and to give this person love, let that be okay. If that was the case for you, let that be okay and have compassion for yourself. You're only human just as this person is only human. So as you're ready, you can let this person go, send him or her on their way. And perhaps we're gonna do another challenging thing, maybe more challenging. And that is we're gonna grab a big, beautiful mirror. So you get to create this mirror. You can make it as beautiful and ornate as you want it to be in your mind's eye. But we're gonna bring this beautiful mirror in front of us. And we're gonna sit down right in front of it. And we're gonna look at our own reflection. And I'm gonna give you a little bit of space here, a little bit of time to really see yourself in this mirror. See yourself in your fullness, light and dark, allowing the shadows, allowing the hurt, allowing the imperfections, all those things that we usually cast off or avoid or resist, but just letting them be, owning your humanness. And see if you can look into your eyes from a place of unconditional love from a place of loving awareness. Say, wow, this is me. This is me. This is who I am. And I invite you to look at yourself in the mirror and say, may I be happy. May I be well. May I be at peace. May I be filled with love and compassion. Notice how it felt to give yourself love and compassion and notice how you received it. Perhaps you even look in the mirror and say some affirmations to yourself. Maybe I love and accept myself just the way I am. Maybe some other affirmations come to your heart. Just take a little extra moment with yourself, allowing whatever comes up to come up. When you feel complete in your self-love, I invite you to expand this love in your heart and to see it encompassing the entire planet, our entire Mother Earth. Maybe you see it coming out of you as pure white light. Maybe you see a green light of the heart chakra. Maybe it's a rainbow field. Whatever it is, just encompass that whole planet Earth in your love, just bathing it in light. Every creature, every human, every animal, every plant, every little corner of this earth. And just seeing it all from a bird's eye view as if you were in space and just feeling all the love and joy that exists on this planet, but also at the same time making space for all the hurt, all the suffering, all the struggle allowing it all to be and just feeling it in your heart, feeling how connected you are to all other beings on this planet. And as you imagine the planet just engulfed in your love, feeling a, a connection that's coming straight out of your heart and connecting to the electromagnetic magnetic field of the earth. 
I'm sending some well wishes out saying, may all beings be happy. May all beings be well. May all beings be at peace. May all beings' hearts be filled with love and compassion. I'm just feeling what that feels like in your body. Noticing whatever is present for you in this moment. Taking a few more moments here, just feeling into all that love and gratitude. As you're ready, we're going to walk back out of the heart space, back out into the forest or the whatever land that you were in on your journey, on your path. So when we walk outside, I want you to notice a beautiful body of water. And this body of water is separating your heart from your mind. You can see in the distance, your mind's eye. And I want you to imagine building a metaphorical bridge between your heart and your mind. What does that bridge look like? And what kind of courage, what kind of vulnerability does it take to build this bridge? And when you feel that bridge is complete, I invite you to walk across it. Maybe you even walk back and forth a few times. And just seeing the, your heart and your mind are interconnected. They are linked, they are balanced and working in harmony. Noticing this balance in your masculine and your feminine energy. Maybe you even imagine your a little heart and a little brain holding hands together, connected, right? There is this bridge that cannot be broken between the two. Finding that balance and maybe letting your heart take just a little bit of a lead here. The mind is a faithful servant, but a terrible master. Right, but our hearts, they know the way. May we lead with love and compassion. May we lead from our intuition, from our highest selves, from our hearts. May we stay anchored and rooted in love in the present moment. Coming back to your physical body, noticing again, those physical sensations that are present with you right now. Noticing your heartbeat in your chest. Noticing your breath. Noticing your mind, your thoughts. Is the monkey mind chatter going or is it a little bit quieter now? Just noticing without judgment where you are. Noticing how you feel in this moment. You feel different or the same as when you started. Maybe placing the hands on the heart again, feeling the heartbeat. Anchoring into heart consciousness, into loving awareness. Maybe you set an intention for the rest of your day, the rest of your week, your month. May our hearts be open. May our hearts be filled with love and compassion. May we live from our highest truth, trusting in ourselves and in our intuition and in our mother earth that carries us every day in this beautiful experience we call life. Perhaps you have a, a heart affirmation to say to yourself as you close your practice. We'll take a final heart coherence breath together, inhaling through the nose. 
pause and hold at the top, really feeling your heart beating in your chest, tuning into that rhythm of your heart. We'll open the mouth and exhale with a sigh. Opening your eyes as you are ready. Thank you, thank you so much for being here with me. This ended up being 30 minutes. I thought it was gonna be about 10 minutes. So uh, if you stayed for the whole thing, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I hope you're feeling the love. I know I am. I was a little disappointed that I got interrupted during my meditation. Um, I had thought my partner would be able to hang out with our daughter. And then of course he got scheduled for a work webinar um, at two o'clock at the same time as I had scheduled this meditation. And I thought I had my daughter set up and then she needed something from me. So um, there was a little pause in there, but I hope you found time to just continue your meditation during that process. So sending you all so much love. Um, and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your Tuesday. 2222. 22, 22. So fun. Um, I love numbers and dates. So I am um, totally geeking out right now over this uh, exciting date and the Pluto return that is happening. Um, I'm feeling lots of love in my heart. I'm really excited about the Power of Love Summit. Thank you all for being here and uh, tune in with me on Friday if you'd like. Uh, I think I have it set for two o'clock. I'm going to um, be having a talk about living heartfully and really opening our hearts to love in every single moment. Um, so hope to see you then. I've also got a chat tonight with uh, Teresa at 7.30. We're going to talk about getting out of our heads and into our hearts. And tomorrow I'll be talking with Melissa about shadow work. So good stuff. Um, have a beautiful day. Namaste, beautiful friends.